Welcome back to Truth or Myth, the series that answers the questions you've always wanted to ask. In today's episode, Alex enlists the help of an angle grinder and a friend to see if lowering a car the cheap way pays off. That's exactly right. Today, I'm joined by Gareth. Hi, everyone. And what we're doing is finding out what life is like daily driving a car on... Cut Springs. Cut Springs. I'm just taking the bottom of this strut off. So it's just held in here by one nut and one bolt. Oh, there's so much mud. So this is where the original spring ends. So we're gonna cut it in line with that so it will sit in this pocket or groove. However, they've designed these springs that the bottom piece is flatter than the rest of these springs. The problem is the pitch changes so this pitch here is is less steep than yeah. in there. Yeah. You can see how this ramps up yeah, yeah, as it yeah. goes around. So either way, it's going to be bad. Yes. Cool. Ah, awesome. Getting it in is going to be fun. We carefully tighten a couple of spring compressors to ensure that the cut spring doesn't ping off and embed itself in our faces. Then it's time to create sparks. And that is a cut coil spring. Don't know why I'm smiling about this. <laughs> it's so dirty. This is really, really ghetto way of making your car lower. We've only cut that much off, which isn't a great deal, but it will lower the car by, what do you reckon, a centimeter or so? I have no idea. Yeah, we'll find out. It's now slammed. It's not slammed at all. It's just, it still looks completely stock. So you can tell that we've not gone too crazy. This is gonna be an absolute mission getting out, Alex. Well, we definitely have to jack both sides up. We can't just jack one side up because of the anti-roll bar. It's not a great deal of space to play with. That's one. Did you in your wildest dreams think that half past ten you'd be angle grinding? I did actually. With your I friends. Knew this thing would take ages. Every time. What time is it? It must be eleven. It's gym time. Oh right, yeah. No, it's about it's about half nine now. It's just not half nine. Knocking on for about nine ish. Oh, hello. That went. And you're always bringing me these Japanese pieces of junk as well. <laughs> I also bring you a German piece of junk. So I want that to just line up with that notch there. Like that dunk. I think we should be good to go. I think these are the right bolts. And it's now half past 11 and you should have been in bed, what, an hour ago? A few hours ago. Awesome. We have cut all four springs on the Accord and tomorrow we're going to find out how it daily drives. What do you think? Pretty terrible, I reckon. Me too. So, night has turned in today and as you can hopefully see, Trevor is sitting slightly lower. I reckon anywhere between 15 and 20 millimetres lower. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's go try him out. So the upsides of driving a car with cut springs. Uh, it sits slightly lower, so it does look cooler. You get to play with an angle grinder for a few minutes. That's always fun. Uh, okay, I'll come back to that. The downsides, um, if the spring pops out while you're driving, you might die. Oh my if an MOT tester doesn't like the look of it, if the spring is slightly moved, then he will fail your car and that sucks. The spring rates have increased now, which means that there is way more pressure on the shock absorbers, so they're not going to last as long as they would. 
And also remember, we've only done one coil on this. In a car like this, you want to get this lower by, I don't know, 40 millimeters. So you're going to have to cut two or three coils. And I hate to think what that feels like. The car doesn't ride as nicely as it did. It feels way more crashy. And the main thing in the back of my head, there's always this doubt. There's always this worry that if I hit a speed bump too quickly or if I hit a pothole that I haven't seen, what happens if the spring comes out? It is not advisable. People continue to do it. I don't understand why, because lowering springs for this car, or pretty much any car, will only cost you 150 pounds. And that's for a nice set of Eibach lowering springs. You get 40 millimeters lower. They've been machined to be exactly the same on each corner. Tell your parents you want to have your car lower because it's better for center of gravity, for your fuel economy, for everything like that. And if they love you, they're going to give you 150 pounds or $180 to get lowering springs. If they don't love you, then they will let you angle grind your springs and then you could die. I mean, you wouldn't use a plastic bag to have sex, would you? Now we've established that the Accord with cut springs rides like a bit of a bag of shit on the road. Let's uh, hit something a little bit rougher. Uh. Oh my God, oh my God. Am I in Vietnam or in London? This must be a private road because it is I mean, it hasn't been tarmacked since before Christ was born. This is gonna be super rough on any car, no matter a car like this with cut springs. It's horrible. There's loads of horrible vibrations. You can probably see in the cameras going like that. My worry is that if we kind of get some air, that the uh, spring would probably, oh God, oh God. When the uh, suspension travel completely opens up, that's when you're at most danger of the spring coming out because the spring is lower than it was before. There are less coils on it and it can just pop out of the uh, top mount or at the very bottom as well. Now, amazingly, in the UK at least, it's not illegal to drive a car with, uh, with cut springs. As long as it passes its MOT and as long as the uh, coil spring itself is actually seated properly. I think we're gonna stop driving on this road now because I'm getting quite nervous. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm sorry, Trevor. There you have it, daily driving a car with cut springs. It's not something we'd recommend for the reasons Alex mentioned. So do yourselves a favor and lower your ride height the right way with new springs or fancy coilovers. Join us next week where we'll be exposing our next truth or myth. Can you add value to your car with just a professional detail? The fuel light has just come on. We've been driving for about, I don't know, about an hour. We're on the M40 heading towards Coventry. I am one line on the fuel gauge off zero. So we are fast approaching our target of zero and then the, the timer starts.